Hello, welcome to Sketch A Day Live. We are here, we're back, I've got power. Um, <laughs> what a week it's been. I'm so sorry for all the craziness that has ensued, but we're back. I moved my mic to the other side, so let me know if this is working or not. If it's not, I'll have to fix it. It kind of blocks my screen I look at here, so always making adjustments here on sketch a day today is sci-fi sunday so that's what we're going to be doing sci-fi stuff let me zoom out here on the instagram if you're joining on instagram and you want a bigger better view of what's happening youtube is the place to be um so <clears throat> just to give you a little update of what happened i don't think i have any pictures here on on this computer to share um but i did have uh trees that like broke apart and fell and then yesterday the power went out again but i was without power for about almost three days actually and so that was a humbling experience it was a very humbling experience one in which i can say i am not prepared for the end of the world even though 2020 has been crazy definitely not ready for that um so yeah, two to three days without power. And then yesterday I, I hired these people to cut my trees. Then one of the branches fell on a power line and all the power in my neighborhood block went out again. So that has been my week. I'm like four days behind on work. Um, just by way of information, for those who have signed up or are curious, the offsite educational design experiment school initiative whatever you want to call it is going live tomorrow i'm excited to be a part of that i will be teaching a course called design discourse where we're going to talk about tough topics truth perspective who you are as a designer how to form your opinion how to critique all that good stuff so if you missed applying and being a part of this first course don't worry we'll be doing it again and it'll be all good what's up tom just want to say shout out to all the patrons we got tom hello lynette Welcome back. It's been a minute. Explosive Yoda. Hello. Svetlana. Good to see you too. Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy week. So if you are joining on the Instagram and you want a full version of what I'm doing, just head over to youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. Just like my Instagram handle, but YouTube. And you'll be able to participate in the chat. Give me feedback, whatever. Today is sci-fi Sunday. On Sundays, I like to do sci-fi things. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. All right. Let's see. Okay. This is, uh, this, is, this is good. Let me know how the audio is. Welcome. Hello, Latrice. Thank you for your patience, especially. Latrice is one of our patrons, asked me to do some t-shirt stuff, and I was ready to do it, and then boom. Power is out. The world was ending in my neighborhood anyways. Um, but Latrice has been super patient, so I'm definitely going to come on tomorrow and Tuesday. I'm not entirely sure about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday yet. I agreed to do some MC. That stands for Master of Ceremonies type stuff for the International Design Conference. I was going to do it in person, but, you know, with, with COVID happening and everything else... That shifted to virtual, so I'll be virtually emceeing, as well as putting together a workshop on some product story sketching. So that's going to be focusing more on the context of your products, where they live, what the experience might be, a little bit of storyboarding, things like that. So if you haven't registered yet, check it out, International Design Conference. That's put on by IDSA. Um, but yeah, this week's going to be freaking exciting for a few reasons. One of which I can't say yet, but it'll be an exciting week. So I hope you've got some good stuff ahead for yourself. I actually did. I, I picked up a new toy. I should show you guys. I picked up a new toy. It's not plugged. It's not turned on right now, but I did pick up the MPC one. <laughs> from Akai. As if I have time to do this, I was like, you know what? Let me 
Let me pick up a, let me pick something up. See if we can play with it. At least let the colors flash here. So yeah, I am excited to finish my work so I can actually play with this thing when the time comes. Um, and if you guys have any great tutorials, let me know, but picked up a keyboard, picked up this little, this little doodad here as well. So I can make my own beats, have some fun for the channel. So that's my latest acquisition. I also got another camera for the studio. So thank you again for all the support, for watching the streams, for your donations, contributions, patrons, all that good stuff. Um, and I'll be able to provide another angle of what I'm doing. And hopefully that'll help. Um, I did have another camera, but it's it's older. The color profile is different. It's weird. And you know me. I like to provide the best experiences possible. So that's what we're doing. But yeah, that, that class I'm teaching in the fall, like I said, or not the fall, starting this week, is called Design Discourse. So it's going to be just talking about, discussing, debating, thinking about design, being more thoughtful about our craft, how we form our opinions, points of views, present concepts, all that good stuff. A little bit different than me just drawing stuff, but I actually have a lot of experience <laughs> defending ideas and um, Having to, to form an opinion, I've done a lot of writing as well, something a lot of people don't know. So it should be a good experience. Uh, Lynette's asking if I produce music as well. I do not, but if I have a superpower, I've thought long and hard about this. I'm basically Siler from Heroes. That's, that's my ability. I have a knack for figuring out how things work. I don't play the piano. Yes, Svetlana, we'll hear some beats for sure. Once I have have some time to to play around, probably something I'll do on Patreon first. Um, and I don't know if I posted on Patreon yesterday about my power situation. Hopefully that worked and you guys were able to see it. I was trying out a new feature in the app called Lens, which allows you to, it's Sci-Fi Sunday, so let's do a sci-fi warm up here of a car, but uh, or maybe just some some big sci-fi like vehicle, right? Anyhow, I hope that worked and you're able to see that update. But yeah, it's been it's definitely been a hell of a week for me. Anyhow, hope you guys are doing well, staying healthy as always in this crazy crazy year that it's been 2020 the craziest year of my life anyways um and once again just showing the importance of warming up here i got a message from someone saying hey i miss i miss your old tutorial videos and i'm like yeah but no one was really watching them <laughs> so for the amount of time i put into producing those i don't know that it's necessarily worth it um, I mean, maybe there's some cadence that works that I could use or do, but for now it didn't really feel like the best use of my limited time. And I love hanging out and chatting with, with you guys, so that's that's been enjoyable, certainly. Anyhow, always open to feedback, though, and curious what you think, if you'd like me to do more pre-recorded demo stuff certainly possible but i do enjoy i do enjoy the live streams all right i'm gonna keep keep my eye on the chat today check in in just a second here just doing a quick sci-fi warm-up sketch fair warning my kids may come barging in dad i'm hungry or whatever it is they they need at the moment. All right. Thank you, Mustafa. Appreciate the compliment. Mustafa likes my sketches. Much appreciated. Thank you. All 
Um, so I finished season one of The Boys. I don't know if you guys have watched that, but holy crap. That is... That's a show, man. If you're looking for something to watch, that is... That's a show. I don't really love this vehicle. It feels like a giant minivan. But perhaps... Perhaps a good warm-up anyways. I was thinking of what to draw today, and I wanted to draw something insect-like and robotic. Robotic. Maybe with a desert theme. Some sort of scarab beetle or something. Could be fun. Alright, this is a weird sketch. Let's forget this one. Let's do something cool. Let's do something cool. So the show I was watching is called The Boys. That's the show. All right, I'm just going to start by framing something out here. Um, kind of woke up this morning and had this idea of like some sort of desert scarab beetle type robot. And then maybe like a little bit of a, a canopy on this thing. You know, like maybe a little little Star Wars-esque here. Um, also, if you have any sci-fi related requests, I'm happy to take a look at take a look at that as well. Alright, but we're just gonna we're just gonna freestyle it like we do here on the channel. Thanks for hanging, as always. You know there's more important things you could be doing, but we're here, you're here. Much appreciated. Gotta have a little bit of a cockpit of some sort. All right, I wanna capture some sort of wing thing even. Maybe a bit of segmentation on our body. So it's not that I haven't been sketching, I just haven't been posting because of all of the power situations happening. All right. Oh, nice, Latrice. Um, what Illustrator questions do you have? Or what's the hardest thing about Illustrator so far? I'm curious. Illustrator is Adobe's companion product. Product? <laughs> product. <laughs> to Photoshop that is vector based. So a vector is, think of it like a mathematical equation. At least this is just how I think. Um, a math mathematical equation des describing the shape of something, shape, color, and so forth. Equations are very lightweight when it comes to um, well, some equations, I should say. Visual output. So, it's a really great way to have um, designs, things that can scale really well without um, slowing down your entire machine. I hope that makes sense, but if not, no worries. Latrice made a request a while back for me to do some t-shirt stuff and I will be doing that this week I'm hoping tomorrow if not then perhaps Tuesday but in any case just another way to another way to describe visual output So I'll probably add some marker after this, maybe some maybe some airbrush, not quite sure yet. But again, some sort of scarab looking robot here. Maybe not scarab, but just insectoid, you could say. 
I'm using a paper made flare as always if you are curious about the materials I use you can check out that link shape build you know I have a confession Latrice I've never used the shape builder tool I never have I'm uh I'm definitely old school when it comes to that so let's throw some antennae on this robotic beetle you guys on Instagram can't see but it's all good looks like a robotic turtle yeah I can see that but I'm shooting more for robotic insect hence the antennae I mean we could even add maybe just some I don't know what you call these proboscis mandibles mandibles that's what it is add some mandibles up front here all right maybe start with something like that maybe show us your kids someday you know i try to keep my kids you can check out my kids youtube i tried to respect their privacy as much as they want so unless they specifically say to me hey dad can we be on your youtube show i'm not gonna i'm not gonna have them come on Plus, unfortunately, there's a lot of creepy people out there. I'm not saying you're creepy. There's just a lot of creepy people out there, so. Just a little silhouette of a person here. Piloting this robot. This robot scarab or beetle or whatever in the desert Maybe some weird desert rock formations in the background you know you know how it is or maybe not i i do technically live in a desert so a lot of my landscapes tend to be influenced by that So who's doing, uh, I'm just going to ask the question because someone's going to ask me. Who's doing Inktober this year? Got a few weeks. Got some Jake Parker drama. Who's doing it? If you don't know what the Jake Parker drama is, apparently someone's accusing him of plagiarizing their book. Uh, Alfonso something, I forget his name. Anyhow. If you care to check out drama between illustrators, feast your eyes on that. So yeah, I'll be able to make beats like this one. This, by the way, I should mention is provided by Paul Sohi, designer, friend of mine, offered to create some beats. And then after watching what he did, I was like, I want to try that. So he gave me some suggestions. I ended up with the MPC one. It's the music production center one. That's what it's called. All right, what sci-fi thing are we drawing next? I am curious. Or we could do other stuff too. So if you have another request. Since this week's been weird, I got my sci-fi fix here. Throw some marker on, maybe some brush marker, maybe some detail, whatever. We'll get it done. We'll get it done, we'll have some fun. Bam, 
Lynette's gonna be celebrating her birthday. Well, happy birthday when it comes. Donnie is asking, what type of pencil am I using? Well, Mr. Donnie or Miss Donnie. Be sure to check that link I posted in the chat. That's gonna have a link to all the resources that I use on my streams. I'm trying to find my chart pack markers. I can't, oh, there they are. I did some rearranging in my studio. I got a flat file from Ikea. I got some confidence from my friends. I got some love from my kids. And we are rearranged. So there's gonna be a few more changes, like I mentioned, um, adding another camera. Um, just some subtle tweaks. Maybe you'll notice, maybe you won't. But here's the link again, Donnie, just for you. I didn't pin it this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and, oh no, I did pin it. I'll send it again, right there, boom. That's for you, Donnie. Donnie in the YouTube chat, asking me what pen I'm using. How dare you, how dare you? Just kidding, I love you. I'm just bad at keeping my emotions bubbled. You good at being perfect? I'm good at being trouble. Name that song and win a prize. <laughs> it's one of my favorite artists. And I got to saw them, saw them, see them live before the world decided it was time to end. That was fun. Just adding some quick marker here. If you need some more lyrics to help you out, I hate you, but I love you. I'm bad at keeping my emotions bubbled. You good at being perfect? I'm good at being trouble. Let's see who's gonna who's gonna win. My prize. I don't really have a prize in mind, but I am making some new stickers. Um, I don't know if you guys follow my Instagram or not, but I posted some previews of those and I'm continuing to make some more stuff. I think I'll turn them into shirts as well. The last shirts are great. Thanks for those who did purchase those and supported, but I'm going to retire those and make some new ones based on the Sticka illustrations, illust illustrations as I call them. Let's see, cool gray two. Let's see what you got. I'm just using regular printer paper, by the way, so nothing special about this. And then using these chart packs because I really don't care about them that much. And thank you, Explosive Yoda. Thank you. It feels good to be back though. I missed you guys. I love doing what I do. Um, again, I apologize. This week's going to be a little bit spotty in terms of my online presence because of some prior commitments and some big things happening. So... Appreciate your patience. Let's cast a shadow here. Why not? Why not? Nice little shadow under this canopy. Right there. I get why Amazon is not posting the full season of The Boys all at once, but I wish they did. Because it's so good. It is so freaking good. I don't know her. <clears throat> All right. What are we going to sketch next? Tell me. Tell me. Stuff from the future, robots, sci-fi, monsters, whatever. If you don't tell me, I'm just going to do whatever the hell I want to do. 
whatever I want to do. But let's add some texture. Let's add some texture, guys. Hmm. Let's go ahead and add some texture with these pans. Um, so one of my favorite villains in animated series. I was just mimicking the voice. I'm just gonna add some texture. Is him from Powerpuff Girls. Did any of you guys watch Powerpuff Girls? Back in the day? Sugar, spice, and everything nice. These are the ingredients. So good. I don't know. But yeah, Power of Girls, super awesome. Super awesome business. Hold please, my kids are asking me a question. Okay, my child wants to say hi. You ready? You, you gotta stand next to me. This is my oldest. Do you like to draw? Yeah. Yeah? Do you think we should do another Sketch Day Kids? Probably. Probably? Okay. All right, what are you up to? Oh, I'm just playing Legos. Okay, you keep playing Legos. All right. Love you. Are you just gonna hang out? All right. He's just hanging out in the shadows. If he were a superhero, his name would be Shadow, maybe. What would your name be if you were a superhero? Or what would your powers be? What would you want them to be? I don't know. It's a hard choice. It's a hard choice, he says. He doesn't know what his powers would be. Did you get Inception? What? You've never seen it. <laughs> the song is called I Didn't Get Inception. It's a movie. Maybe when you're a little older, we'll watch it together. We like watching movies together. Laser pen lightsaber, says Lynette. I guess I could do some sort of laser sword. Maybe someone holding the laser sword. I could do that. I don't do a lot of figures on the channel, so I could always do that. I'm trying to find my BFM. My big fat marker. In fact, I made a BFM sticker. A big fat marker sticker. I haven't uh, sent it to production. I'm trying to see if people are interested. I know Jordan was interested. Jordan Null, one of our patrons i'm not sure if he's if he's on today but all good if you're not brother blade runner blender blade runner blender no it's not that one can't find it oh shoot i was gonna show you guys something something crazy hold please i'm gonna show you something crazy this is the new copic marker ink all right so if you have copic markers and no they're not paying me to say this but I want to show you something really important. Uh, what color is this? E74. Oh, you found it. You found it. Maybe I do need a studio helper. Okay. So this is the old Copic ink right here. Okay. And this is the new Copic ink. Now, both of these cost the same amount of money. All right, I haven't opened this one yet even. So let me go ahead and open it. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but I'll go ahead and open it. I use a lot of Copic markers, so really important for me to have refills. Okay, so here is some E74, right? Look at that, it has 12 milliliters in it. 12 milliliters. This one, Okay, I'm not even kidding. They cost the same amount of money. So if you can get your hands on these, it's the same color, same formulations. These two are not the same color, but I just want to show you. 25 milliliters. All right, 25 milliliters right here. Okay. 12. Same price so if you can get these get them now i know uh lori one of our patrons just got a bunch of these if you can support your local art store if you can find them 
if you love markers, get them before they stop making them because half as much. I went ahead and bought them because I needed these markers or this refill for my E74. But I think I will do someone with a laser sword next. Um, but definitely check that out if you can find these because they're not going to make them anymore. All right. Super important. So there's my pro money saving tip for you today. All right, let's go ahead and finish up here. Like I said, I got the BFM. My child brought the BFM. I like it because it, it just has a nice stroke to it. Like even on top of the sketch lines, like it just has a nice, it smells terrible, doesn't it? You, you like the smell? Yeah. He's still in here, guys. He's just hiding. Are you trying to get in frame? You can be on camera if you want. I just don't put you guys on unless you want me to. Because I want to respect you. But I could finish out this shadow, for example, with this marker. I just... I just... It's so great. You just have to try it out. I think you can get them for like six US dollars, something like that. It's different. It's it's just really hard to explain. It just has a nice brush like feel to the tip of it. And if you're careful, if you're careful about it, you can add some quick contrast to your sketches. You know, even if, if I wanted a more harsh shadow on the top, for example, I could do that with my BFM here. Just has a good solid, I don't know. It's hard to even describe. Just has a good feel to it. All right, so now we get that, that contrast in the scene. What do you think, Ollie? What do you think? I, I think it looks good. Oh, wait, you guys, did you see him? I don't know if you did. I don't know if I had cut to the camera. There he is. Hi. Say hi, everyone. Hi. All right. This is my oldest. I'm not sure if I did or not, so I'm going to cut back now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Anyhow, so that's my first sketch today. I'm going to go ahead and do someone. I'll probably do like a cybernetic or robot-like person with a laser sword because I'm not great at drawing people but I've been practicing in the background behind the scenes if you will I forgot this post so let's put that in what are you gonna do later today you gonna probably. play some Fortnite probably maybe I haven't played in a while if your dad lets you and apparently Tony Stark is in the game too don't spoil it for everyone Don't spoil it. You kook. All right. I think we're good. There we go. There's our, our bug of sorts. So as a reminder for patrons, I'm looking in this camera now. So this is how the show works. Sometimes I look in this camera. Sometimes I just draw. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Okay, so as a reminder, um, I will be scanning and uploading these to Patreon, or not Patreon, but the Google Drive that I have for Patreon. So if you want that, are you gesticulating like I am? Um, if you want that, head over to patreon.com slash sketchaday. All right, let's go. There's some people watching from Russia. Their names are Svetlana and Art, and they say hello. So, you just met some people from Russia. Wow. Isn't that cool? It's pretty cool. I know. Did you know your dad is, like, low-key obsessed with Russia? Wow, that's cool. Like, I want to go someday. All right, let's do someone holding a sword. Um, I think I need translucent paper, but I will start by just... Let's do some, some gesture gesture sketching here. Actually, I want the hands to be down and the sword to be up. 
maybe the legs. Kind of like that. Maybe looking this way. So we have the glow, something like that. So we can start with just gesturing it out. And then I'll go ahead and fill, fill stuff in. It's a little too big, so we'll do it again. Iteration is your friend. When in doubt, rough it out. All right. When in doubt, rough it out. Do you want some of this? No, I'm good. You're very kind. Thank you. He was offering me... Offering me some paper for my sketch here. Actually, it'd be more like, more like that. Pectoral muscles. And then maybe we'll have the, the BAS here. The big A sword, as we'll call it. Anyhow, so just a rough sketch like that. I'm trying to think of this direction's right though. Actually, more like this. Some of you probably know way more about anatomy than I do, which is totally fine. This is just how I do it. No harm, no foul. You may be like, oh, I'm never watching again. Never again. Yeah, so just kind of exploring here, and then we'll see see where I want to go with this. Thank you, Ili Christian Isli. Where are you from? What's up? See, you guys on Instagram miss, totally missed out. My kid was on. He was, like, being all cute and, and stuff. I almost swore. Because um, it's Liquid Sunday. But... <laughs> What's up, dude? Taking a beverage break. How are you doing in your corner of the world? Do let me know. What's new? I still haven't seen Tenet. I really want to, so no spoilers, please. Um, if this is your first time, I forgot to mention, hit subscribe, turn on alerts, all that good stuff, so that you can either love or hate on a schedule like clockwork. Um, Latrice is awesome. Sends the likes and the loves like clockwork. But there are others. There are others who do not like, which is totally fine. So feel free to share. Anyhow, this week's going to be crazy. Lots of, lots of big things, big things coming. I'm going to modify... Modify this a little bit. Um, big things coming, and I'm really excited to share with you. Let's give this person. I like these like harness chest things. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Just getting a drink. You're getting a drink. Yeah, just some water. I don't know if they should be looking up. Or to the side. We'll, we'll redraw this again, so don't worry. If you're like, oh my gosh. And then I also, also like to think of things in terms of shapes, which I find super helpful. This feels off balance. I feel like the leg needs to be more like, more like this. Yeah, that feels better. And then we can have the, the sword pole thing here, or the hand could be going here, and the sword could be going across. It actually feels cool too. Like a Final Fantasy style sword of some sort. Um, one thing I I was hard on myself about, I'll give you a little little tip. One thing I used to be hard on myself about was getting the drawings perfect on the first go. And I didn't realize 
that even the best artists many times will um, overlay and redo their drawings over and over and over again until yeah I'm gonna have this person looking up so I'm gonna change the the angle of the head here um, hmm I'm trying to think of how to position this other arm because if this arm's holding the sword you know does this one kind of fall off we kind of get to decide where things go I'm trying to decide yeah this feels this feels better so here we go another overlay so we're now we're three deep what's up wing sung thank you wing sung says i trained this week with your videos I should make a compilation of my tips. You know, I've thought about doing like a top 10 tips video. In fact, I had a website reach out to me about doing just that. I do want to explore. Let me see. Like, should I have this leg up? So it's more of a jump. No, it's weird. Um, you know, I had this website reach out about combining some tips. So maybe I will, I will do that. This would be a lot easier digitally, of course. But sometimes I like doing things the hard way. All right, let's see here. Woo! I just have to decide, is this a male character or female. I've just kind of started on the face here. I'm not going to do the hair yet. I think I'll do male. Definitely a black male. So we'll start like that. And then, hmm, yeah, I'm trying to decide on the weapon. Actually, maybe I'll go, I'll go down with the sword. I think that would help with the composition a bit. Definitely a cloud from uh, Final Fantasy vibe here. Hey, Dad, I have an idea. What's your idea? You could like make up your own Star Wars character or something. I could. That'd be a good stream idea, for sure. Yeah, this feels better. Um, I'm trying to decide with the hand what to do. Like, if I was holding a sword, right? You got center line here. Maybe leg down here. Off to the side. Is this arm pointing up, you know? Why just 10 people watching? I don't know, Japan Bali Draw. I've given up on chasing algorithmic things. If people want to watch, that's cool. If they don't want to watch, that's cool too. I, just, I literally do not care anymore. I used to care more, but... I don't care anymore. So, if someone wants to watch, totally cool. And if they don't, that's also cool. Yeah, kind of gave up on. I, at first, when I came back last year, I was all about algorithm and like trying to figure out. You know, hey, how do I... I want this person to have dreads. Maybe half of their head is shaved or something. Um, yeah, I was like trying to figure out, okay, what's this algorithm business all about? How do I capitalize on this? But 
I just, I just, it's too much work and I don't care anymore. <laughs> so I've been blessed and grateful that I have work. But for me, this is just about like hanging out with you guys. <clears throat> okay, maybe there's a belt here or something. Hanging out with you guys, doing something cool. And, uh,. That's it. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of uh, warrior garb influence here. Just a little bit. Hi. What's up? Oh, it's probably not a good idea to watch me while I'm streaming on your computer because then it's going to slow down the stream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Oscar says, this week I was accepted to study industrial design. I'm glad, dude. He says... He wants to thank me because of my videos. Thank you. And thank you, Explosive Yoda. Much appreciated. Yeah, so this turned out this turned out way better than I thought it would. <laughs> but there you there you go. It's like you thumbnail, you rough things out, you iterate, and then you find what works. You know, and even then this might be something I could potentially um thumbnail out even more. I'm trying to figure out the hand position here, for example. But I think some of this I can obscure in shadow. I got you colors that could work for the sword. You got me some sword colors? Mm -hmm. All right, my son got me some sword colors. So yeah, I I just, I kind of gave up on, on caring, honestly, dudes, people, humans. Because I don't know if you've, I don't know if you've watched the social the documentary on netflix right now it's called i forgot what it's called actually let me see if i can find that for you it is social. called social. it's called what social something something yes the social dilemma that's what it's called the social dilemma um and social media like so much of it is just cover your ears so much of it is bullshit <laughs> And you can come back now. <laughs> Anyhow, like, what is real, right? I just, I can't, if I spend time concerning myself about algorithms and what that's all about, I'll never have time for anything else. So I just decided that I was going to just do me, do what I do not worry about it i was paying for like things to help me out and figure out like what works and what plays and i'm just like this is this is complete utter garbage let's not do this let's just focus on making good stuff and so far it's been fine i haven't noticed any discernible difference since then so So yeah. <laughs> all right, so all of this for a laser sword that Lynette requested. <laughs> We've got our main character here. Maybe wearing some cool, some cool pants of some sort. Um, admittedly, I'm not really great at musculature in humans, so I try to fudge it a little bit get the general shape in where I can. I am working on that behind the scenes in the background. So definitely hoping to get better. I'm more of a, a thing, thing drawer illustrator than I am a person drawer illustrator. So clarity is one of those things that I just need to kind of work on, but
I'll throw some marker on and help this out. <clears throat> Thank you, Lynette. What's up, Big Luke? Zap Hill, yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo to you as well. Hello. Um, so yeah, if you're just joining, I got a new camera. I'm really excited. It should be here today, actually. And... Had to clear some trees this week from my property. What happened when we cut the trees, Ollie? The power went out for like half an hour. The power went out. So, <laughs> that was... Was your dad really stressed? Yes. Yeah, I was really stressed because it had already been out for like three days before that. So that's something I was kind of kind of dealing with. I don't know what this person's looking at, but they're looking at something, clearly. This sword is awkward. Um, I should probably have it more like down like this or something the hand but i don't really want to over i don't really want to redo this so but once again you can see like this is a garbage sketch garbage sketch garbage sketch but those three sketches kind of help me position everything sh yastra on instagram i will say i just checked in on instagram this these types of videos are helpful for many of us and i can enjoy when watching okay good i'm glad to hear that i am glad to hear that Hopefully the 14 of you that are watching on Instagram, which is nothing. Love it. Um, so yeah, once again, if you want to support what I'm doing, Patreon's a good way to do that. I am committing. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the best ways to connect with the Patreon crew. And I will be posting updates every week from my own life. Just stuff that's happening in my life, videos, whatever, um, pictures, so you'll get some more insight into that. You do have access to the high resolution scans of all this stuff. So I'll even scan in the rough sketches. You'll get everything. Um, and those will be accessible on the Google Drive. And I'm also considering doing a Patreon only stream. It's a little bit hard now just because time zones and all that. But if you ever have ideas, specifically the Patreons, let me know. You guys are my core and my, my life. So thank you. Thank you for the support. All right. Cammy is asking, which programs do I use for digital sketching? I use uh, Adobe Fresco and Procreate. I use uh, those two specifically. And then I'll use Photoshop as well if I need to. But uh, on the iPad Pro itself, I use Fresco and Procreate. All right, my son got me some colors, so I'm going to try and use these. Looks like he got me some blues and reds. And this is a laser knife. These markers are probably dead. So let's see what we can do here. It's a laser knife, so it's going to cast light, right? It's going to it's going to project some light onto our character here. So I want to make sure I can get some of this light in. You got me more inks, thank you. You're very helpful. So whenever you're shading with marker, whatever the case may be, you wanna think about your light source. Where it's gonna actually hit. Even if it's even if it's in shadow, pardon me. Make sure we capture those tones. Are these just ink fill-ups? Those are ink fill-ups, yes. I don't need them right now though, but thank you. You can put those back. You are very sweet. Alright, so I got my first blue down. Say blue turquoise color, apparently. I've got another blue turquoise here. I'll probably use some gray as well. This gray is running out. Basic gray one. This is a chart pack. 
Chart Pack Maka. I love markers. They are unforgiving. They're really hard to use, but I do enjoy them. They're fast too. If you're good at them, it's really fast. You should do some camo on him too. Some camo? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. That would be that'd be kind of hard to do. Why do you give me hard things to do? Because you're a good drawer and you need challenges. Aww, you're so cute. My son says I'm a good drawer and I need challenges. So. There you go. My little mini me challenging me. Yeah, the sword's kind of weird. I get it. I think I was going to do the face though, and thankfully, I've been really investing, um, I have a, <laughs> should I even talk about, I don't even, I don't even know if I should talk about this, but let me think about it for a while, for a minute. Let me think, yo. Somebody's wondering what programs you use for digital sketching. Um, I answered that one already, but I use... Do you remember the one we would do our drawings on? No. It's called Procreate. That's what it's called. I use GIMP. You use GIMP? Yeah. You do use GIMP on your laptop. It's more like a photo manipulation app, though. So growing up, I have a confession, growing up, um, and this is just a factor of like media and the world we live in, but I often would draw white figures with white features. And I don't mean that to create division and racism, but just talk about my own experience. And so it's been interesting as I've tried to just lean more into my own selfhood, my own personhood, my own everything. Hello, Jamie from Smoky, Oregon. Um, I've tried to embrace, you know, black culture, black figures quite a bit more. You don't see them in popular culture. Even learning, okay, how do I, how do I draw black hair? I don't know because I've been so used to drawing uh, white hair. So again, this is just this is just my own personal thing. Um, and I just want to keep it real with you guys. Like, that's my own fault, and I'm not angry or anything. It's just it's just been interesting learning, and like applying. <laughs> You're giving me more markers. He wants me to do green. Um, just applying these different techniques. And so I've started following more uh, artists that are black, like me, and trying to emulate some of what they do as much as I can. It's been really fun. It's been, it's been a great experience um, for me personally. So thanks again for the support and being cool YouTube can be a very unforgiving and cruel place at times so I appreciate it and I appreciate you the reason I like to use markers as well maybe I mentioned this before but it's hard and there's something good about hard things. If you can get used to doing things the hard way, 
it makes other things just that much easier. All right, just that much easier. What are some hard things you've done, Oliver? He's still here, by the way, guys. He's just hanging out. What are some hard things you've done? I don't really know. No? All right. Well, if you think of something, you can share it. Deal? Yeah. Okay. Music is brought to you by... Paul Sohi, who, like I mentioned, inspired me to purchase my very own MPC-1 that I'll be using on the channel here to kind of uh, produce my own beats and things of that nature. Um, the other thing that's great about this marker, besides the just generally expressive look and feel you get from it like it's just it's it's fast um, I'm trying to think of the right adjectives because I really I've been really struggling to think of the right adjective to tell you guys so it's it's like fast but also expressive in a way is you can refill it so that's another plus for you if you're thinking about getting something like this it's also good at covering up mistakes so on my sword here if i want to change that up i can do that kind of just fill in fill on the back on the back side did you give me a white pen sure i don't know if you did i don't know if you did no it's gonna be white these are the white pens right here. Boom. Boom. These two. I made a mistake, so I gotta cover it up. Just on this side here. Alright, maybe add some texture. Or just paint with that white. Got a bunch of white coming out. Whoa, so much ink! Um, can you go get me some tissue paper? Thank you, Latrice. Much love to you, too. Hmm? Ollie, there should be some in the restroom. This is fun. Maybe I'll have my kids on more. <laughs> He's super cute. I, actually, I, I think I mentioned this before, but I did try out for American Idol once. Um, thanks. Hold on to that. I did try out for American Idol once, um, back in the day. So that is a real thing that I did. And I do, I do like singing. Your dad likes sing, like singing, right? Mm -hmm. Is it annoying sometimes? No. no. <laughs> bang, bang. What? You could mon actually you could monitor my chat for me and then I wouldn't have to do it, you know? Would that be cool? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, anyhow, I don't want to mess this up anymore. Let's see, how are we on time? An hour, okay. Yeah, I think it's time for me to bounce, but it's good to be back. Good to have the power situation sorted. There's one sketch we did on Sci-Fi Sunday. Here's another. Boom, we got our little desert beetle of a sort. This one's a little easier. People are always hard, like I said, and you kind of have to iterate, at least I tend to iterate quite a bit. So there we go, multiple versions. Just enough to give me a framework or idea of where I want to head with things, and then I can do that. Um, and we also did our warm up of this kind of clunky sci-fi vehicle. I would do it differently if I did it again, but there's some, there's some cool things about it for sure. There's some cool things. So anyhow, thank you for joining as always. Thanks for hanging. I will be back tomorrow 
and I mean it this time, I will be back tomorrow, probably 8 or 9 Pacific, um, depending on how my day goes. I've got a lot of stuff to do, but um, this week was just insane. Oh, hi, you're on camera again. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. So, <laughs> so thanks for hanging out. Um, it's been awesome. Um, hit me up if you have any questions. Join the Discord if you want to support patreon.com slash sketch a day is where you want to go for the instagrammers thanks for hanging try the youtube next time because you get the full hd 1080p view not the skinny portrait view um let's see what else is there this week is the international design conference i've got some exciting updates coming out of that but also i'll be emceeing that event on two days or occasions so that's why i say after tuesday things may be a little bit spotty um Sorry. Much love to you, and I'll see you next time right here on Sketch-A-Day. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Peace and love to you.